Oh. I how that is all that is coursing through my veins right now is the word how Chelsea started off impeccably well they take a 2-0 lead and then Man United summon a fight back of all fight backs lead 3-2 and then start to keep shape, hold the ball so well for the last two or three minutes of normal time, hold the ball very well for the majority of injury time. And then with a minute to go, stop concentrating. With a minute to go, we leave Delow one-on-one with Medaweke, who does him. Delow doesn't mean to catch him. I'm not... The commentators kept on saying, what has Delo done? It Delo just their legs kind of clashed. It's a foul, yes. I'm not saying it isn't. But why are we allowing that situation to unfold with a minute to go? You're on the edge of an epic comeback, some bragging rights. You can go into the Liverpool game at the weekend with a bit more pride, a bit more confidence, but no. This Manchester United team, again, although we demonstrated great personality, great character, great hunger to fight back, although we were clinical tonight with some really difficult chances, we got ourselves back into a brilliant position. And I know we need better technicians. I know we need better coaching. I know we need better structure. But the lack of headspace from these Man United players is absolutely ridiculous. If they go on a roller coaster, their heads are going to whistle, bruv, because there's nothing in between their ears. That is absolutely beyond embarrassing. Beyond embarrassing, you are 3-2 up with a minute to go. You're controlling the proceedings. Chelsea had all but given up. And you don't just draw. You lose. You go to 3-2. Oh, we're going to go and attack. And everybody pressed forward. Where was the defensive line? And I would have celebrated the draw at the win. I would have celebrated the win and gone well done for the win. But I'm still going to call out the same thing I'm calling out now. Our midfield is a polo mint. The space in our midfield is... I'm surprised squatters have not moved into our midfield. I'm genuinely surprised. It is an absolute abomination. And to all the Man United fans, I'll see what you're saying now about Ten Hag. I put so much of this down to him. Because it's his structure. It's his substitutions. It's how he drills his team. And this team is vulnerable. And when the guy went against us today, we went 1-0 down, 2-0 down very quickly. We looked disheveled. And a mistake from Caicedo gave us an opening. We took that opening. We grew from that point and deserved to be 3-2 up. We deserved it, in my opinion, to be 3-2 up at that stage. No doubt about it. But then... We make a mistake, we concede and go 3-3, three, three, 
and we cannot compose ourselves. Absolutely shambolic. I am fuming. Raging. I, I'd already want this manager gone. Tonight is, is beyond another notch on the bedpost, but, but beyond more confirmation for me. But the lack of midfield structure for large parts of the game and our inability to see it out is it's two games running. Forget how badly we played against Brentford. We were winning with a minute to go as well. And guess what happened in that game? Go back and watch it. Yes. A a whatever his name is. Aka, Aka, Aja, Ajax. I don't give a fuck what his name is. Good play from Tony on the ball. Why is there a player about nine yards out free when you've just taken the league with 30 seconds left? We've done it two games running. We've thrown away four points. I'm a liar. We lost today. We've three, three, four, six points. No, five points. My match is terrible. We've thrown away five points in two games. And me and Hassan had a conversation on, on, on Straight Facts last Friday. And he said, Terry, why are United fans not talking about the top four? I feel you're ignoring it on purpose. No, we're ignoring top four Champions League qualification talk because tonight's in us. Brentford's in us. And now we've got to play Liverpool with one fit senior centre-back. And that's Maguire. It's absolutely horrendous. We didn't deserve to beat Brentford, so you could say justice. But what any other half-decent team would do when having the lead like that is you sit back and you compact. You don't leave your fullbacks one-on-one. -on -one. You don't leave good quality players like Carl Palmer free at the edge of the box. What is wrong with us? Absolutely kamikaze football. Now, I am going to praise Chelsea for winning. And their fans are going to celebrate, and they should celebrate Cole Palmer forever. Is there a day called Palm Tuesday, KJ, in the Christian religion? Palm something, right? In, in the Christ They've got a name a day after this guy. Palm, Palm fucking Thursday at Stamford Bridge. Excellent player, Cole Palmer. I'm taking nothing away from that individual sensational. But Chelsea were also... Palm Sunday, there we go. It's Palm Thursday now. Man, this Chelsea team aren't very good either. And they'll celebrate and they deserve to laugh at us. They deserve to banter us. They deserve to celebrate. I'm not taking that away from them. I'm not taking that away from them at all. But that's probably why it hurts me a little bit more. Is they are not very good whatsoever. And we had the chance to stretch a lead of 11 points over them. But of course, the proverbial six-pointer, they're now only five points behind us with a game in hand. And look, Chelsea have been awful this year. And if we get caught and overtaken by them, we have to take our medicine with that. But why would we be... How can you go from having an 11-point gap to being behind them? I'll tell you how. An awful manager, a terrible system, and players that lack discipline. And I've said earlier on in, 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 in this piece, yes, we need better technicians. Yes, we need better overall football players. I'm not denying that. But the lack of mental fortitude, fortitude, the shrinking violent nature of this Manchester United team is an embarrassment, not just to this great club and our history, but it's, embar it's an embarrassment to anyone who even touched the ball. To any dog that plays fetch, anyone who touches any kind of ball in the world, Man United embarrassed with how we are as a football team. It was an absolute shenanigans. An absolute shenanigans at the end. And I, for one, am embarrassed I'm, I'm not even, my brain's gone. My head's gone. I'm so angry. I want to smash the camera. I want to smash this room up. But then I think to myself, why would I cost myself money for that bunch of pro? Why did we stop attacking when we went 3 2 up? When Chelsea were open. They were open like a gigolo, bruv. Spread. Stopped attacking. But Rashford on didn't attack. Yes, I wanted this to be a bit more compact, but you can still attack. We stopped. God. Listen, anyone out there defending Ten Hag, show your face. Show your face and tell us why. I'm not saying the players are guilt-free here today. Okay? Anthony didn't need to tackle Kukurea. Should never have been... Shouldn't have conceded that penalty. The low tonight, great cross for the goal. But look, came out of his position for the first goal. Didn't see the danger and recover quick enough. Not completely his fault. Casemiro not picking up Gallagher and just letting him stand there at the edge of the box free. And then Onana again, that guy, my word. He drops. 
It sounds weird because he's really heavy, but he drops like a feather. You ever dropped a feather and it sort of does this to the floor? He drops so slowly. I don't know how it is physically possible for a man who weighs as much as him to fall that slowly. It's like he's full of fucking helium. So mistakes there. And the low, like for the, for, again, he got skinned for the penalty. I feel it was a bit unlucky. Like he, he sort of fell. But this team, man, this club kills me. Kills me. Gambles. Shame on them. Uh, what's cooler than cool? Ice cold Palmer. Listen, Cole Palmer's quality. I'm not even going to take nothing away from that kid. Um, he, he is sensational. One of the signings of the season. And I said this before, and this is a compliment to Chelsea. If City have, would have kept him, they'd be top of the league right now. Uh, Cole Palmer, let's go. Finally, Palmer, I love you, is what Nav says here. Uh, I'm so stressed. Yeah, I would be too. Uh, I'm in shock, bruv. Uh, Palmer in it. Hold, Terry. Mate, I'm holding it. I'm in pain. I'm holding on to it so tightly, my chest is hurting. Um, ref man of the match, what was that? What do you mean? I'd love to know what you mean by blaming the ref. I don't think either were like... They were both penalties at the end of the day. There was contact. Was there a lot of contact on each of the fouls? No. But I would want those penalties, so I'm going to remain consistent. But we can't blame the penalties. Man United should have seen this game out. Battle of the mid, uh, but somehow United worse up the Chelsea. Well, it's 1-1 one, one for the season on games. But what, do you know what I would say as well? The amount of people that gave Arsenal stick at the weekend. Oh, would I not have loved to have been able to play that last 10 minutes, how Arsenal play? Where you don't concede opportunities and you're, and you're relaxed. People slag that kind of football off. That's because you're not football fans. You treat football like it's ballet. You treat it like it's breakdancing. You treat it like you're judging it as opposed to wanting a team to get the right result. This is not a sport that you judge for results. If that was the case, then I get it. The scoreline wouldn't even matter either, would it? It isn't. Idiots. Mason Mount, my ass, uh, Palmer, the next hazard. I mean, Palmer could end up being more efficient for Chelsea than Hazard. I don't think it'd ever be as good on the ball. But yeah, that Mason Mount. Listen, Joe, you know it's crazy. Mason Mount did really, really well when he came on. Up until the point he was on the left, he should have been back helping Delo. Facts. Uh, did the United technical team and Onana study Palmer and his previous penalties? He was he went right. He's passed three before today. Not once did Onana dive right. I think he probably went for the, I'm going to go to the opposite side because, well, he went to his right because maybe you'll change. It didn't work, did it? Um, I know you're fuming, Terry, but as a neutral, that was the best game of the season. End-to-end -end football, very um, unfortunate last goal. Should have ended in a draw. Both played well. But I think you could argue as a neutral. I mean, I haven't even looked at the stats. Is it 25 shots to 19? They had more of the ball in the end than us, but obviously the last 15, 20 minutes, we, we went compact. So that's why it was a very even game. It was a little bit fortuitous. I mean, but a lot of the goals tonight for both teams are fortuitous. Penalties are slightly fortuitous. Caicedo's pass back, fortuitous. The first goal, out of position, Caicedo just letting a man run free. There's elements of fortune to all of it, but I, again, I look, I understand entertainment-wise, best game of the season. But it wasn't the best game of the season because both teams <laughs> had some good moments, but both teams are actually awful by our standards and how much we spend. That's the truth. Uh, truly insane game. What a circus. Palmer carries us. Yeah, Palmer just... Uh. Uh, Terry, I feel for you, my bro. That was a harsh result. Cheers, Luke. Appreciate that. 31 GA for a 12th place team. Uh, clear Saka and Foden. Like, he's been excellent. So I remember when Ravinelli got relegated. And I swear he got 20 league goals that season. Like It's happened before. Uh, I don't know how low down the league Sunderland were when I think uh, Kevin... Not Kevin Phillips. Yeah, Kevin Phillips got the golden boot. Um, quality striker he was. A VVD can choke a player and not even get a even get a yellow. Any other player gets sent off. Pure corruption. Also, that last penalty was not a penalty, but United are ass. This is the thing. I they were looking at that slow mo. Did Delo actually touch him or not? Did he take footsteps? It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. We now know if the referee gives it on the pitch and you can see that the most minuscule of contact it stands. They don't look to overturn it. I feel like if it went the other way, Man United would have got that right at the end. Chelsea fans would also probably say, I, I don't think it was a penalty, but 
it was just we shouldn't have allowed that situation. Poch out, Caicedo poor, centre backs awful. It wasn't a second pen. That's from a Chelsea fan. Uh, Palmer is the best number ten in the world. Penalty king. What a silly game. Disgraceful season. Uh, that is from uh, Dr. Uh, zero cards for United. Ch uh, checking the badge. Got away with so many cards. I thought that that um, Maguire should have been booked. If I'm being honest, but I, again, I, I, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't have really changed the game. I don't think uh, people can doubt Palmer all they like. I mean, anyone doubting Palmer's an idiot. That genuinely, if there's one player involved with Chelsea that you're not going to doubt, it's Carl Palmer. It, 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 it's simple. And it's as straightforward as that. He's absolutely sensational. And Chelsea got to buck their ideas up over the next 12, 18 months, two years, because he will not be there if you're still where you are, but he's still performing like that. He will leave and rightfully so. He's fantastic. Uh, pace and pound for 65 million. Palmer for 35. Who's better? Ah, oh, Palmer. Um, Palmer by a country mile. Uh, United had the game under control until the subs in midfield and defence. So I don't even necessarily blame that. It was just the lack of cohesion because that we were controlling it with those players, and then we decided to leave the low one on one with a really skillful, tricky, speedy player. Smart, but fucking well, ten hog. Well done, bruv. What a smart man. Penalty was soft, but I'm beyond happy right now. Yeah, look, I, th I think the penalty probably was soft, and that's probably the right way to look at it. But we, it's going to be given. And if it was the other way around and we were giving it on the pitch, I wouldn't have won it overturned. Uh, Potch isn't the problem. It's the players. He said in his interview, only uh, only so much Potts can tell them. Yeah, maybe. But I don't believe... Look at both managers tonight. I don't believe both... Man I believe both managers tell their teams to play that way, which leaves holes in their midfield. But the reason I say that is because when those holes appear, you don't see either manager screaming, where were you? Why weren't you in your space? You see him clapping. Do it again. That's why I can't buy that, bro. That's why I don't buy it. Judas Mount can hold that. Shameless is what Andrew says. What the F did I just watch? Classic L Midio. Midos. Anyway, Classico, Midi Midio, whatever you want to say. Uh, this footballing gods balancing out the points we stole from undeserving positions uh, early on in the season. It could be that, Hussein. Uh, best midfield Classico game ever. Ten Hag subs were arse. About that, uh, we'll take over. We'll take you over at Arsenal, Terry. As much as I'm on loan, I do love Man United. I'll never change teams, it's never going to happen. Oh, I'm in pain. United's goal difference now is minus one, deserves to be as well. Sh I can't, I don't want to say the C word, but the word shit comes before it. That's what they are. Game of the season, Palmer, Foden, hat tricks. I don't think it's a game of the season. I think both teams had too many poor elements for it to be game of the season. Maybe most entertaining game, no doubt. Not the best footballing match. Um, Gallagher should have been sent off for what? What well, I don't think he should have been, unless I missed something. All four from both sides taking a win like a bandit. I bet you are, Gav. Like I said, Chelsea weren't great, barring Palmer, but they should celebrate no matter what. They, of course, you should. Anyone who says you shouldn't celebrate is a fool. Uh, <laughs> you out bottled us, Terry Palmer, just two goals behind Harlan, 24 GA in 25 games. These players are. Uh, immature, yes, but saying they don't care is lazy. It's a fair point. Uh, Terry, is Cole Palmer a guarantee in the England squad if he continues with this? He has to be. You can't trust Southgate, but he has to be. Uh, Chelsea, five points off United and a game in hand. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been. Should have been 11 points. Should have been over. The, 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 the Terry Don derby should have ended that way, but my club messed it up. My club screwed. Am, am I surprised? No. And they'll probably be two points behind by the end of this weekend when Liverpool come to Old Trafford and destroy us. But we know why. Uh, and so L Clown, I can't read that, Clownico, Clownesco, whatever you want to call it, uh, comes to an end. Good, but crap. <laughs> uh, Mason Minerals uh, with uh, on with a lead, ended up losing. Also, Haaland was invisible. Yeah, Haaland had a really poor game tonight, but... Equally, we brought Rashford on as a striker. Our strikers has got no service whatsoever today. Um, yeah, but he didn't have a great night at all tonight. Um, Hoyland, I'd, I'd open up to that. United defence and midfield making Onana look bad. No, Onana was very much at fault for that first goal. I know it was a little unsighted, but get down quicker, my guy. Sick and tired of these bottle job players. I agree, Derek. They're awful. 
Chelsea gave every goal to United. United didn't even earn a point. Hang on a minute. So giving you away two very soft penalties, the low being out of position, the goalkeeper not getting down to a very soft shot from Gallagher. <laughs> Us deciding to attack when it was 3-3 with a minute to go and leave our defence exposed to can see the corner. That's gifting you opportunities as well, my bro. Let's not sit there and act <laughs> like you broke us down or absolutely amazing. <laughs> and But you guys are just rubbish defensively. Both teams bad in that area. Let's have it right. Let's, let's not bullshit. Let's not bullshit on that. Uh, sell Badi Ashil uh, ASAP. Uh, probably the worst hat trick I've ever seen. I mean, look, yeah, two pens and a deflection, but you're going to take it. I, 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 I don't. I want no slander on Palmer's name tonight. Uh, so are Chelsea allowed to celebrate like they won the Premier League? Yeah. <laughs> you won't hear me become a hypocrite on that. I think saying that, like, you guys were great and United were bad would be too far, but that's not celebrating. That'd be chatting shit. But you're allowed to celebrate. 82 seconds it took to go from winning to losing. Don't, Josh. Honestly, 82 seconds. It should be less than 82 seconds in that dressing room tonight. And Sir Jim Ratcliffe should have Ten Hag buy his ball bags saying, you're fired, son. Pack your bags and piss off. You're not even coming back on the coach or train. Straight away. He should be driven to the airport and flown back to the Netherlands. See ya. Give it to Giggsy until the end of the season. I don't care. Should be gone after that. Don't care about the FA Cup now either. Win that, lose that. Epic in that final. Doesn't matter what you do. Gone. All that jumping around and celebrating. And then I look at the table. You've got to celebrate those moments, my guy. Uh, stop PP, defend the low, drop the stupid player FC. It's not PP, defend. I don't know what that means. I'm not really defending him. I blamed him for stuff tonight. I don't know where that's coming from. By the way, I blame Staffy for tweeting that he's the been the best right back in the league this year. He'd have waited till the end of the game, Staffy. You upset the football gods, my G. Just realized that. I nearly retweeted it as well, and I didn't. Just for that reason, I was scared. <laughs> uh, Delode's reaction tells me uh, it was a Stonewall penalty. Looked devastated. That's also very true. It's why I think it was It was soft, but it was a pen. He knows he made contact. He knows. Uh, seen the Ronaldo tweet tell 100% a dig at Eric Ten Hag. No, I'll go and have a look in a minute. I'm talking to you, man. Uh, I genuinely don't know how someone can defend Ten Hag. Blind faith and love. Uh, the battle of mid derby was very entertaining. Thank you, bro. Uh, we were leaders in both teams. We were the leaders in both teams. I get what you mean, AMT. Uh, cherish the moment, lads. We'll be back uh, in the mud by the weekend. Keep the blue flag flying. I. Uh, we know Chelsea are not good, but oh my God, Man United is beyond bad. The team that plays on my local pitch near my house can beat United. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, jokes aside, Chelsea had had to get rid of Poch. So crap is what David says. Um, this year says I have to celebrate it because it's because it's because it's the first time all season that Chelsea lost the lead, went down, didn't lay down and die. Listen, I've I've said it all along. Chelsea fans have got to celebrate this. There's no doubt about that. I'm just not having a few of the super chats that said you were like miles better than us tonight. I can't have that. Uh, I want Sir Jim to do an Alan Sugar and fire Ten Hag. Uh, Terry, how the F have United done that? Uh, Matt, what have you been watching all year? <laughs> well, this is the thing. I'm angry and I was shocked when it happened. But now I'm calming down. Am I surprised? Am I surprised? Like, we beat Liverpool, didn't we? 4-3. Three three. And we lost in this kind of similar way. But it could have gone the other way. We don't do anything convincingly. I don't have my beeper anymore, but I wish I did because I want to call her so many names, but I don't, I don't want to get the, the YouTube. I'm to bring out the panel now. I'm done talking. I'm finished. Because see Don smiling as well. Fuck him. He ain't coming out tonight. No, I'm joking. I, I wouldn't do that. Uh, KJ's here. Phil's here. Tom's here. D David's here with us. Who else we got? We've got Staffy. We've got Rams. We've got uh, G. We've got... We can't, I've got a few of you that are still backstage. I can't bring out just yet. Who's in the, Who's in there? Who's by their what? Their tumble dryer? Is that me? That might be me. That's you. <laughs> what's, going on, what's going on there, man? Uh, Jesus. Uh, KJ, talk to me. What the hell happened? Um, how do you want me to feel, Terry? What do you want from me, Terry? What do you want from me? Because I can give you. I can give you angry. 
I can give you sad, but those will be lies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I am, Terry? Relieved that this is one less game towards the end of the season. We have eight games left. I am praying that they all happen quick. I don't care about the result. But today what happened is Manchester United happened. The, the spineless nature of this football club, this rudderless nature of this football club is shining through once again. You've just equalised. No, you just uh, uh, equalised. You just conceded. It's 3-3. Three, three. There's like 30 seconds left. Just relax. Just take the point. Know that sometimes, you know what? It is what it is. You, you, you come, you try to rub a good result. You don't, you don't get it. Take, leave with something. But no, head loss as per usual. Their heads are gone. You got half the team, like you got 90% of the team sprinting forward to try and score a last minute equalizer. What is what, what's going on here? We're away from home. If we're all traffic, I kind of get it. But we're away from home. So there's no need to do that. But time and time again, we've seen it all season. This team has no mentality. They have no mentality. They have no football IQ in, in high-pressure moments. Their head's gone. Like headless chickens are going running off, leaving the loan in, in, with, uh, with, um, with a, a decision to make, leaving Palmer with, with no one around him, leaving him free to take a shot. And, of course, and, 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 and guess what's happened, Terry? Another deflected goal. Liverpool scored two against us. If you go throughout the entire season, the amount of deflective goals that we conceded is high. Why? Because we're not trained to defend outside the box. We are trained to panic and do last-ditch tackles, do last-ditch blocks, and hope it doesn't go in. And it's not sustainable. And we've been saying this. We all know it's not sustainable. And it's not are, are, you, are you shocked, KJ? Are you shocked that... All season, you can go back as far as the Arsenal game with that goal that Odegaard scored, that we allow so many players space on the edge of our box every single game, home and away. I am shocked. I'm shocked in the sense of <clears throat> you're, got, you, you're professional footballers with a professional football manager, with a, professional coaches and analysts. You do this sport nearly every single day of the year. You analyse this game nearly every single day of the year. You have played up to at least 40 plus games already this season for Manchester United. And yet no one in the institution, not the football director, not the analysts, not the coach, not the players, no one has stood there and said, wait a sec, we concede cutbacks nearly every game and most of our goals conceded are cutbacks. We should really stop this from happening. It's like no one's, uh, no one can see it. Everyone's oblivious to the fact that this happens every game. So I am shocked because I'm a football fan who don't do this every single day. They don't work in football every single day. And I can see that that's an issue that needs to be resolved. So how people in the club day in, day out cannot see this, that's the shocking part. But you know what's not shocking? is the fact that it's happened at Manchester United. Because again, this is a rudderless, headless club that has to wait till the summer to get everything in in line hopefully to actually form some kind of structure to actually go form a plan and actually try and make ourselves better as a football club that that's all we got left that's why i'm counting down each game eight games left that's that's all i see and maybe an fa cup final that's it. I don't even care what result we get. I don't even want that because we'll lose it. And it'll, we'll end the season. That's what's crazy because we will beat Coventry, in my opinion, and go through. Uh, Don, from a Chelsea perspective, it was the good, the bad, the ugly, and then the, the craziest win at the end. I mean, you, you saw everything from your team tonight. <sighs> Terry, where do I even start, bro? Like, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I told you you're going to see ping pong football. Lack of control. Our teams are identical, bro. We're twins. We're mud. We're mud brothers. That's what we are. You know. I can't even come on here being shameless and saying that you know we deserve to win because really and truly, the game could have swung both ways. The game really and truly could have swung both ways. In that first half, I was actually quite impressive. United. You know, moving the ball quite well. You were popping it in the midfield. To be fair, for the first five ten minutes, there was quite a lot of triangles I was seeing in that midfield, and we were struggling to get hold of the ball. Yeah, and a big part of that was our build up was poor, bro. Caicedo on the ball. I don't know what he was doing today. You know, Badia Shu in possession. He was poor. 
Enzo in possession as well in certain parts. He was poor as well. But what helped us was our counters. We just kept countering you and countering you. And that right-hand side, how many times are United going to allow teams to just chop it back on that right-hand side? You know? And I was hoping that we're going to continue using that right-hand side because it was clearly working. You know? Good goal from Gallagher. Obviously, Palmer scores another penalty, um, which was definitely a pen. I've seen you guys saying it was a soft pen and that, even for the second one. Bro, they're both penalties, in my opinion. Like, they've, they've been fouled in the box, right? These They're clear penalties. I don't know why it even took that long to give the second penalty away as well. Do you know what I'm saying? But after that, it's the same old nonsense. It's the same old stories. We kill ourselves. You know, I'm looking at it thinking, yo, we can score another one here. And then we, we go and do that, Caicedo, under no pressure whatsoever. Why are you trying to play it to Buddy Ashil? You can see Buddy Ashil has got a man there that can press him and probably pinch the ball off of him. Why not just go back to Petrovic, you know? And then from there, momentum swings. I was looking at it, I said, yep, any second now. You know, you can just feel it that your team's going to concede again. Any second now, we're going to concede. We're going to concede. And what, do you, what, what happens there? Bruno scoring a header, you know? How many times have I spoken about how bad defensively we are when it comes to um, the back post? Whether it's the right-hand side, we're terrible from there. Whether it's the left-hand side, we're terrible from there. Terrible, terrible awareness, bro. You know? I know these guys individually today weren't that great. But that, that, that has to come down to some sort of coaching. Because it happens in way too many games. You know? We always concede a minimum of at least two goals. You know what I'm saying? David, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not blaming Poch for those mistakes. I'm just, I'm just saying that I don't know what type of defensive coaching goes on. Because it's a mess, bro. It's a Jeez. mess. You know? I think this is this is where you're right about us being very similar to each other is individual mistakes or poor passing, etc. I think you can look at the players, David's right. But the fact that both teams' midfields are like a polo, that there's the space that we and as soon as Man United went three two up, we stopped that space from happening, which means it is a tactical decision. In yeah. relation to it, you guys were actually when you went two new up, you weren't affording any real space, you made a mistake. And then yep. your asses went, and that's why we're so similar. I, I, I do agree with you. It's it's it was an mm. probably an amazing game for neutrals to watch, and this is why I don't understand why people don't get where we come from when we want to look at our manager. Because I feel like Man United, and I, I think you feel like this way about Chelsea. I feel vulnerable every time somebody attacks us. Every yep. time. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. I, I just feel like we're literally a minute away from someone else making a mistake. Even in the second half, Desarsi tried to make another mistake as well. We, we don't enjoy winning games. I've deeped it. That's what it is. Every single time we can go and, and you know, score a couple more goals, it's like, nah, nah, nah. Let's just have a little bit of fun. I, I told you all the time, these lot are young delinquents. They're young delinquents, bro. It's time for some fun. Every single time we take yeah, the lead. Even, even that young tag needs to stop. The Sassy out the back being 27 or something like that. You had, who else you had on the pitch today? Um, Badia yeah. Show, Badia Show. You Badia know, um, Anthony was, was, today, Anthony was quite good, bro. Anthony was good. Yeah, he, he was actually cooking Cucurella, man. Yeah, yeah. So he's not, I couldn't believe No, that wasn't Anthony, bro. Anthony's got a twin brother that we just signed illegally. We need that to check. That was Tony. That was Tony. It was Tony. It was Tony. I couldn't believe how good he was today. That's, that's one of the best assists good. you'll see all season. That is one of the best yeah. assists you'll see all season. Bro, it was, it, was, it was so Crazy. good, man. But once again, Terry, this is what I'm saying. This is what I've said to you, Lord, that I've checked out. I don't even want to analyze the game because it's, it's the same nonsense you know nothing's going to change we keep playing ping pong football and that comes from upstairs that comes from the guy leading the team out right now this is how he wants the team to play in second half i'm seeing enzo leaving caicedo again you know i'm not saying caicedo and enzo were good today but i'm just saying that the shape in that midfield i'm sorry how are you struggling to control a game in the midfield against man united you know even mainly today wasn't that great and he's he's your best midfielder you know, it was just ping pong, bro. It was it was so bad. Like, as a neutral, you're going to love that game. But honestly, bro, I was thinking, Jesus Christ. And then once again, Cole Palmer saves us. We're a one-man team. I'm not even I'm not even shy to say it because I like Palmer. Don, Pot Potch said it during the week, Don. Don, yeah. remember, he said it last week. Give it to, it's give it to Palmer and Inshallah. That's what we are. Literally, give That's it to Palmer. And I've seen, I've seen rivals trying to, you know, get mad about Palmer or penalties and this, this, that. Listen, we win penalties. He takes them. He scores them. Is he supposed to miss them or something? Right away from the penalties in open play, he plays well. That's why no one can call him a penalty merchant because everything goes through him. He's mm. literally our conductor. He's our best player, and I cannot wait for Palmer to, to actually play with better players in our team. Because right now, let's be real about it, we're playing with our B team. You know, a lot of these players shouldn't be starting for Chelsea right now, but they're starting because everyone's injured. We're missing about four, three, yeah. four players that should be starting for us. You know, but you lot, it's, I don't know what's going on at United because Varane injured again. 
Evans, Evans injured again. This is this is this is the thing. You don't know what's happening at United. Just look at your club. It's the same thing. It's the same. It's the same. When it's been, it's been, it's crazy. Staffy, Staffy, talk to us, bruv. Man United tonight. Talk to us. Give me your thoughts. Well, I got cooked today. I don't think I got cooked, <laughs> to be honest. I was going to say, so, bro, you do look a little bit deep fat fried. Do you know what I mean? He, like, he got the Einstein hair going on and all sorts. Ah, Listen, let me you, tell you. You pulled your hair, didn't you? You've been pulling your nah, hair. I had the hoodie on to try my fa- to hide my face, but then it was too hot. So I was like, bro, fuck it. Just take the cooking like a man. Listen, I apologize for the tweets, everyone. Uh, you know, I did tweet that. Yes, yes. I did tweet Footy Judge Mo as well. I said, you said Chelsea were better than us. And then they scored two goals, and uh, oh, Mo humbled wow. me as well. Uh, yes, I, I got into a basically what I did today. I, I stepped out of my element. I started beefing on the internet with people and in the comments, something I usually don't do. And I backed <laughs> this team for whatever reason, and I got cooked. And listen, I deserve to get cooked. Anyone who wants to cook me for my tweets or anything I said, listen, you guys won the beef. I lost the bragging rights. That <laughs> being put aside, let's talk about the actual football now. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it. Ten Hag said after the game that we deserve to win. Yes, he did say that. Oh, I'm not that no, out. we didn't. Yes. <laughs> you want me to read the actual quote? I can read it to yes, you. I, I, I have it ready right now. Wow. And wow. After I read that, I'm going to say the same I'm, thing, by the way. Pops will say the same thing, by I mean, you, your manager it. celebrated like he won the Champions League final. Yeah. Now, that was actually shocking. But anyways, Ten Hag after the game said, we deserve to win this game, but we can't give uh, we can't give it away like we did. We started poor giving the ball away and defending poorly in the first two goals. And then we dominated the game and we were brilliant. That's actual quotes from this manager. Now, let me tell you this. Ten Hag today has broken two new records, guys. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's back to history listens again. 99.17. That's when we scored, we conceded the, 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 the goal, the fourth goal. That is the latest a Premier League team has ever given up a lead and lost a game. So that's a new record on his hands. There was one more record. I think I lost it somewhere. I'll have to go and look for it. There was another record that he uh, broke. I, I can't remember. That, the... He's yeah. lost to us, Daffy. That's another record. He lost yeah, to Chelsea. I mean, that's not a record. It's <laughs> the first time we lost you guys since 2017. Exactly, yeah. yeah. There's that. that, and there's also, we haven't lost 17 games in the season since... Oh, that's the one. This is the first time. We... Yeah. We haven't lost... Nine. 18... I thought it was before that. I thought it was before the First World War. I don't even know, oh. bro. Listen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But listen, bro. <laughs> This team, listen, I just wanted the bragging rights. I didn't think we would lose the way we did. Um, I had to eat 59 shots in a single week. Yeah, Seriously, 59 oh. shots in two games of football. This is what happens when you have an incompetent manager during the week comes out and says, I don't care how many shots I concede as long as we don't concede goals. Well, guess what? The higher you concede shots, the higher it yep. is the probability that you will concede goals. The Today was an over. example of it. Oh, yeah, the week is over. I got to see these guys on Sunday. But let me tell you something. I have good news. That's the last game for me this season. I'm gone after that game. That's the only game that counts for me until the season's done. And then I'm done, bro, because this season doesn't count for anything. What about FA Cup? You're in a cup, Staffy. What about that? Bro, 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 listen, listen. Just let me finish, and then I'll let you guys cook, because I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely humbled. I'm fasting right now. Everything is shit right now. This team is absolutely shocking. Who would have thought we were going to be sitting here talking about Anthony being our man of the match and everyone else is just like, I don't know, just mid. And do you know what really was me? Well, I was so ready to cook you on Garnacho. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, you know what it is? You would have mentioned Garnacho. I would have been like, well, Casemiro was jogging on the pitch. So oh, I still no, get a win somewhere that, here. That, that guy, I, honestly, I, I know I shouldn't say this publicly, but if I was in front of Casemiro, not now I've calmed down at full time, I'd have chinned him. I'd have... <laughs> I'd have no, 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 hundred percent. No, on a, on a real him. note, Terry. I know I'm out. joking around and I'm just like whatever because like the season's been crap. At this point, I can't really rage. I know people think I'm gonna come here and rage. I really can't rage anymore because the players that I expect to play good didn't even play good today, and the players that I think are trash were pretty much trash. Maybe, uh, yeah, you can make an argument that, that Garnacho was good today, and fair enough, he did have a good game. So I'm actually not gonna come at him. But I don't even want to come at the indi- individuals anymore. The fact that we had to play. Casemiro in the first half in the in 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 uh, in the six, and we had for some reason Maynard was playing behind the striker. Clearly struggled there, 
and we looked better when he went back to the six and then we made the substitution. It's just like you look at these things and like you wonder what is going on with this manager? What is going on with these decisions? Why would you go into this game knowing that Mino's the best one for you on the buildup and then you put him high up the pitch and he didn't even have a good game. So this is, I, I, don't, I don't really care at this point. And the fact that we scored three and then we stopped attacking, it's just like it makes me wonder how bad are we? How about our way? I hear Don and CB and all these these Chelsea guys every week complaining about how spineless their team is, how bad coach their team is, how much they make individual mistakes. They literally gave us a goal with 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 Caicedo, and then the Sassy tried to top him. He was like, you know what? I can do one better, and then he gave us a pass, but we didn't score that one. There was and such then he a celebrated, bad team. He celebrated the tackle stuff. Did you see that? He's celebrating. No, the no, tackle no the Sassy was forward. pissing me off because he was celebrating <laughs> tackles like there goes. I'm like, the Sassy, you're shit. You made the mistake. Don't celebrate <laughs> like you didn't make the mistake. mistake. <laughs> yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, surfer, it's a mid off. It's a mid off. Other than us bantering each other, you really shouldn't be taking anything out of this game. Like if Surfer oh, wants no. to DM me, like hold that. Yeah, fair enough. But if Surfer oh, goes after the game thinking you're building something for this, no, any no, Chelsea no. fan who does that is absolutely deluded because you guys were shit. It was a matter of like who is more than shit. Today we were actually battling who's more mid than who. And we came out we came out victorious. We're more mid. So you guys got to hold that now. Now I have more reason to say my manager out. You know what, Seth? I want to well. this game is. This game is. We had 19 even, shots on. Sorry, go on, sorry. go on, win the surfer. I said I've seen this old this El, El Shitako derby. This was the hold my beer derby. Okay, this was yeah. literally <laughs> well, what we we can. You think you can do worse? We can do worse. It, it was the battle of this. That's what it was. It was a complete. I. This is how rubbish this league is after the top four or five teams, Terry. You're six and you got a minus one goal difference, and we're tenth, and we can still have a chance of finishing European spaces in the league. This is how rubbish this league is after the top four or five teams. Absolute 100%. pony. And this game proved it. 100%. I heard the commentary said this is an advert for the Premier League. No, this was professional footballers playing schoolyard football today. This is what 100%. it was today. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah, it, 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 yeah I, I, I agree. None of us deserve European football, by the way, sir. No. And, and, Staffy, and Staffy, on your point about uh, not attacking, we had 19 shots away from home, which is very good at any level, right? After we scored our third goal, we didn't have a single shot again. That, for me, is nothing to do with the players. That is everything to do with an instruction they got from the manager. Because Chelsea were attacking us and were even more open then than when we scored our goal because they were trying to get back into the game. G, I know you've got a shoot, brother. We haven't moved on to Liverpool yet, but I just wanted to throw, 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 throw the camera to you, bro. Oh, shit, sorry, no. <laughs> it's funny to listen to these Arsenal, uh, Arsenal, these Chelsea Man United fans because that game was a lot more exciting <laughs> than the Liverpool game. That game, Roms will tell you, we were talking about it in the group, like it was boring, like there wasn't really anything going on. Liverpool obviously went one nil up, then they've obviously scored, and then we kind of took over the game in terms of possession. But the game was the game. It was a typical Liverpool performance. Not the greatest, but you get the job done. And right now, when we're looking at the top teams, I agree with Winter Surfer, though, in regards to when we speak about the league and stuff like that, because it's a top three. You can throw in the Villas and Spurs, but the rest is just the mid-offs everywhere. Like, it's not quality. We're seeing this. We're supposed to be seeing the two of the biggest clubs in England, Chelsea, Manchester United. We're talking about this being a mid-off. And people are saying this is a clash of who can be worse. Like, how, like Chelsea, Manchester United. Like, I, I don't really see that in many other leagues, if I'm being 100. No, no, I wouldn't no, see no, that no, in... No, no, no. I, I, get, I get where people are coming from, but everyone's been like, hyperbolic like, about the Premier League. Because if we're, if we're... If everyone from fourth down is considered bad, what is the rest of the Europe's fourth down? Bro? No, no, no. Oh, I'm, not saying the, I'm not saying the rest are bad, yeah. so to speak, but we're talking about Manchester United and Chelsea, and we're yeah. calling it a middle. No, I, 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 see, I, see. Like, I just think... I just think the floor of the lower teams is a lot higher. That's what I think it actually is. I don't think the, yeah, over, yeah. the, overall, the overall quality of the league is better, in my opinion. No, yeah. I, I think I think the overall quality is good. I just think Chelsea and Man United mm -hmm. are themselves really they're bad. We, what they we are. both have is this. We have lots of very good players, some, some not so good, but we have a number of really good players with bang average managers. That's why we're sixth. If we had the players that... I don't know, Fulham had, with this manager playing how we are, we'd be in the relegation zone. That's the yeah. only thing that's kind of keeping us up there is that we have players that can do what Garnacho did. You know, that, that, you know, Hoyland went on a good run earlier. You know, Bruno can score some goals. That's, that's the only reason we are where we are. It is absolutely 
uh, shocking in term in terms of that. Uh, G, you must be conf- confident of beating us though this 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 Sunday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be fooled. Like I think we'll go to Old Trafford and win, but at the same time, I, I don't want to be too overgassed because Manchester United seem like the type of team that they'll just have something. They'll have a jammy draw, a jammy win like they got in the FA Cup game where I felt Liverpool were actually better, but you ended up winning the game for free. Like, it's just one of those games that I'm not going to sit here and be like, yeah, we'll go there and we'll slap you guys five. I don't think it's going to be that type of game. I just think if Liverpool are professional, we'll get the job done. Manchester United, if they play kind of like how they played a little bit in this Chelsea game, they could have something. They could potentially have something. What that is, I don't know, but... Let me add something real quick. Ten Hag after the game. No, I'm, I'm not even joking. He actually said this. He said the quality of our football is really high, but football is about results and you have to bring it over time. Bro. No, this is a real quote. Cool. I'm not even joking. Can I, can, I, can I throw this out there, right? I don't know. Me and Phil probably had more experience than this than the rest of you because we're older and it's probably going to trickle down to the youngest one, David, who doesn't know what I'm talking about. Maybe he does. You've been at uni. <laughs> We've all got a mate, haven't we? Where there's a problem with his partner and everyone knows it. And you can't say, bro, I think you've got to dead this. You've got to end it. And they sit there and give the weirdest excuses and they act all delusional about how lovely that person is and oh you don't see what i see and they're great all of the, that for me is what i'm seeing from ten hag he is living in cloud cuckoo land if he thinks our I, football looks great phil what would you make of it bro yeah i think for me i think the problem you've got is he's obviously trying to defend his team and keep his keep his job at the same time we know and and i'm gonna you know the injuries are absolutely ridiculous what we've had this season and if he's going to learn to He's, I'm not defending him because at the end of the day, I, I am in a little bit because I defend any manager who's had to deal with that many, especially at the back, your defensive frailties and stuff like that. The changes, Dallow is, was brought in as a right back. He's playing left back because we've got our two left backs out, Shaw and Malassia. Um, and you've got, uh, you've got injured players coming back from injury. There's no, Evans wasn't ready to play, which is why he was on the bench. But yet he came on and then he's gone off injured again. Baran wasn't ready to play. He's come on and gone off injured again. You know, we're dealing with so many injuries at the back. And that is a big, big problem that we are trying to deal with. Um, in, in terms of the actual football that, that we're playing, it, it was, I think it was more a case today about who was more afraid to lose as about who wanted to win more sort of thing. So, you know, when, when Ten Hag got that, that, that third goal, he couldn't believe it, but we did, we did actually control the game for a little bit. I, as soon as we scored, I thought, just, just calm it down. Don't do what happened the other day against Brentford and think you've, you've sorted it lads. Well done. That, that was when we went free to up and we, we started to play a little bit of possession football in the middle, passing it around, looking controlled. Mason Mount, I thought, did really well when he came on, to be fair. Apart, I know you've mentioned already he didn't trap back with the Dallow situation with the third goal, but I, I thought he actually did well with, with the abuse he was naturally going to take. And and I felt sorry because obviously Anthony had, had, had back, was by far his best game all season. Um, and he is, and that, that cross was absolutely fantastic. That's what we should be talking about now. The, that the, you know what scored that winning goal, but we're not. We're talking about us two games in a row conceding the way losing the game the way we have. I mean, we didn't lose against Brentford, but it felt like we had. We didn't deserve a, a point against Brentford, but we had it and we lost it. We could now be six points better off, and instead we're looking down. Going, I said something in the week about do, do you think that you know I'm asking some of the Liverpool fan, fan uh, guys on here like. A few years ago, you finished in seventh and then you had your best season the year after finishing in second. Do you feel that that really helped you to clear the, clear all the problems of, of trying to deal with Europe? And, I, and I'm not saying Europe is a problem, it's where everybody wants to be. But if you're not in there, if you're not in the Europe there to fight sort of thing, then is it is it better to have that clear set? And, and I'm not saying you want it. We don't want it. We, I'd rather us be fighting for Champions League in the best competitions. But finishing seventh, you then had your best season for a while, like a, a reset off the back of it. But if if I may, if I may, I think the problem the problem with that logic, and I, I I'm not I'm not coming at you at all. I think I've heard no, no. a lot I've heard a lot of the things that you said from other United fans. The problem with the logic of oh well if we miss out on Europe then we might have a better season than we have previously. We've been out of all the competitions by the FA Cup since what November? 
yeah. we are still getting injuries back to back. We're yeah, yeah. still performing terribly week to week with one game a seat with one game every week. Um, the manager still looks like he has no idea what he's doing, and he's coming out with weird statements defending performances agree, that yeah. anybody can see is trash. Um, all of our players look out of form. They start the game, they don't look like they believe in the system that's been set out in front of them. And What's the system, though? whatever the system is, they come yeah, out and they yeah. look like they don't know what this, either they don't know what they're supposed to be doing or they look like they don't believe in what they're supposed to be doing. Either way, it's not translating onto the pitch. The results are horrendous at best and we are conceding shot after shot after shot. I think I saw a stat we've conceded 200 shots on our goal in the last 10 games. Yeah, it's like, once again, once. And, and, you know, this is, and, and this is playing once a week. And you know yeah. what we've done, Deezy, as well? De, De Gea was not the answer. Getting rid of De Gea was not the, it is not no. the issue here. Bro. We bought a goalkeeper who don't like to save shots. Bro, bro, bro. bro. Hard. Like, I put the the Cole Palmer penalty, I saw a man biting his nails and putting his hands on his head. I was nervous. like, this brother is yeah. was lost. He was, was like, like this brother here is cooked, fam. He he looked like he doesn't want to be in goal for this. Oh, do, do, oh. do you know what's the other stat that you I, said? I was biting his finger. He's biting you know, his you finger. Said about the, the, two, the 200 shots. Um, the most shots per game on average in the Premier League this season has been considered by Sheffield United at 18.5 per game. Man United are now at an average of 17.5. But if we keep conceding similar amounts until the end of the season, Man United will have the highest shots against in the Premier League. We currently also have the highest shots against inside our own box. And these are this is the thing. And there's a, there's a big Ten Hag fan in the comment section that doing the all oh, this channels fell off. No, this channel hasn't fallen off. It grows every year by about thirty percent, my bro. Only your you manager fell off, bro. You, your fell yeah, off. you just don't like hearing the goddamn truth. The manager coming out, and by the way, I've, 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 as part of the interview that's here, him coming out and defending us. He has said, and I quote his words here, and I want to play them. We have good defend the defenders. We have a good goalkeeper. We have a good back four. This is absolutely preposterous. Just take a listen to what Ten Hag has actually said. Eric, you came so close to completing what would have been an incredible comeback. Are you scratching your head as to how you've lost that game? Yeah. We started poor. I had a game. Yeah, giving the ball away, defending poorly on the first two occasions. But on that moment already, you saw uh, we were dominating the game. And yeah, we returned in the game. It was brilliant, brilliant how we played and you know, we deserve to win this game but you can't give it away like we did and we have as a team we have uh, in that last minutes of the game we have to manage this game better they equalized and scored the winner within 82 seconds who's to blame for that yeah, of course there's always but it's it's a team performance and of course you can point uh, to, to one of the players, uh, but it's not about that, it's about team performance, as I said. As a team, in such moments, uh, when it gets chaotic, you have to deal with such circumstances as a team, and we didn't. Uh, we make wrong decisions, we didn't help each other uh, in, in possession as well, uh, uh, keeping the ball, uh, go from one side to the other side, or to at least pass and move, and out of possession, uh, we make bad decisions. Lack of concentration? No, it's not a lack of con concentration. Huh? Uh, also, also, uh, I think in, unlucky uh, by the end, um, by the penalty situation, uh, questionable, uh, very soft. Uh, but uh, we have to do. Uh, we have to do in such situations. We have to do better. Aside from those last. I mean, it, 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 saying that we. Like, do you know what? If we'd have seen the rest of that game out. I could understand saying, you know what, we, we went, we, we, we nullified them for the last 20 minutes of the game. We dominated the ball for the whole of the eight minutes of extra time. You could have argued then we, we deserved it. Potentially, you could have done it. But the way we threw it away, and he's sitting there and he's saying, like, as a team, we just didn't do the right things. But we haven't been doing the right things all year. And that's where I don't understand the defense. Of the defense. I get the injuries have played a part. But we make the same mistakes in nearly every single game. And the fact that that's not being discussed is is mind numbing mind numbing to me dizzy i i, I don't get it
But my, in my, I, the, I guess the injuries again. This is another thing that I keep hearing from from United fans. We've had injuries. We've had injuries. We've had injuries. Every, one every team has injuries. You have to deal with that. You have to fight. And, you, the, and and I think Cam might have said it last week. I was listening on the post show. The elite managers find solutions for problems when there are people missing from their team. They adjust their system. They adjust the way that they're playing, and they find a way to grind out results. All I've seen is Ten Hag run with plan A, and when it works, we, we, we scrape a win. When it doesn't work, we are completely off the pace, not even close to performing, or we embarrass ourselves, to be honest. And, and again, the, again, the injury thing, um, like Phil was saying, wait one second, we're playing one game a week. Why are the injuries keep mounting? Why is it? Why is nobody asking what is going on that these players keep picking up muscular injuries in training damn near week back to back weeks? Dizzy, the problem is that is the question. That's the question we always they're asking. Everyone's asking what's going on. No one knows what's going on. <laughs> the team and, and, and that's where and that, that's where it goes back to what I'm saying about how how one parallel minute, it is. One minute, Don. Quick what, rebuttal what, what? to Dizzy. You used to say mm. when Plan A works. It works, but does Plan A ever really work, or is it just? No, he said we brilliant? scrape with it. He he said, said, when Plan A works, we scrape by. It might be a two-one, it might be a three-two, it might be a a four-three like the Liverpool game. That's the plan working. Yeah, we're still conceding twenty-some <laughs> shots, but the plan's working. You know what? I, you know what? Not to be Will Stewart, hold, hold tight, Will, on that. It didn't rain. It didn't Stop rain. It. It, didn't <laughs> rain. <laughs> it did rain. It did rain. It did, it did rain. Not to be, not to be it did rain. Oh fuck it! See, we got an excuse now. <laughs> so not too full Will, Will Stewart here, but if you look at our underlying stats, we are in we are level with the relegation teams in the league. <laughs> we are the goals conceded, goal um, chances conceded, shots conceded. The amount of goals we score, Luton Town has scored it's more it. goals it, than us. It, 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 no, no, you're equal with them now, KJ. You're equal with them equal. now. Oh, you're equal with them. Yeah. Yeah. well done. Yeah. I'm just saying. And that's the saddest part about it. Our underlying statistics, well, important nice. ones as well. Because I think it is important how many shots you can see per game. I do think it's important how many chances you create per game. And we're at the same level as the relegation team. But we're only six because we do have some quality players, which is why if we get the right manager, clear out the right deadwood, bring in the right players, and over a couple, you can build something still. Because there's some good quality that oh, it's just so frustrating. Yeah, Honestly, it's so frustrating. Are like generate, like they are so bad. I'm looking at them right now. My God. Even though, like, again, this is a bad stat. It's a bad, I don't like it. Expected points. You know you're you're fully only above five teams. Like, like yeah. the other teams, you are drawn. You are currently drawn on 36 expected points, whatever, with West Ham, Fulham, Palace, and Wolves. No, the I only don't... teams below that relegation. I'm not even. Are, again, I'm, just not, I'm just not surprised, but to hear that because when and this is why I don't understand. I know that not everyone likes stats, but at the end of the day, what my eyes are seeing and what nearly every single statistic is saying are identical to each other. When I see people's eye tests that are that far off, they're like, "No, it's okay. It's just get a few players back from injury." I got cooked by a few United fans this week. You really went at me, saying I'm I'm a disgrace because in a video. I didn't blame Ten Hag for all the injuries. I said I think he's accountable for some. I think he's rushed some players back too soon. Johnny Evans tonight is another example of that. You, you know Johnny Evans ain't fit. You bring, yep. on, bring on the young stuff. Bring on the young stuff first. But he brings on Evans. Now, Evans has hurt himself again. Now, we're going into the game against Liverpool with the youngster anyway. We've got two fit centre-backs. And the same thing against Brentford when he didn't bring on Kambuala oh. instead of Martinez. Martinez was out yeah. for a few months. Yeah, he yeah. brings him on, even though Kambuala has played enough Premier League games yeah. to come on as a sub. Yeah, yeah. Same thing People today. Johnny Evans is like 50 years old. Why are you bringing him on, bro? Yeah. Well, that's crazy. I, I, I can screenshot I love this. I, love this. I, said, I said in the group chat, uh, when, when, he, when, Evans, when Evans was warming up, I said, what minute is he coming off? Is he coming off? It just it's, it's the, the club. I just want to throw something before I go, Terry, because I gotta go get ready for my iftar. Listen, congrats to Chelsea guys. As I said, you guys can cook me, but I just want to remind everyone one thing, because I still have to leave with a victory. Yes, that's my ego speaking right now. I don't care about the low Ben White, all these conversations. Surfer, you were there yesterday. What did I say? I said you have one player that when he decides, he calls game. Who called game? Cole Palmer. 
I said he's better mm-hmm. than Saka. I'm going to leave you guys to argue this one. Right, you want live to do boy, that? live boy. Big up, Staffy. Big up, Staffy. I'm not even getting into the Saka thing here. Um, I'll try and get through a few more of your opinions and do some super chats. I've still got Ram backstage. We're going to move on to Liverpool soon. Uh, Chairs, I've been waiting there a while, my man. What are you saying, bro? No, man. I'm just happy today, man. Because I couldn't see my United scum their way to this win. Because, yes, we're winning, yeah? But we're not going to sit here and say, oh, they're popping us about. They're doing the most... It's just individual errors FC. We're charity FC. I text KJ in the man and I said, you know what? anti has got zero GA. He'll probably get an assist or goal today. What do you do? Banging cross goal. I was like, ah. Oh. Then what's it called? Um, the Sassi or Balashi gives the ball away. I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. 3 2, 99th minute. I'm thinking, content's going to look long. May not fans going to be gassed. Then we scored two goals. I was like, you know what? Stay. So I'm just here to say, hold that, Terry. Hold that, KJ. Hold that, United. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of collusion against you, man. So today to get the win, that's all I care about. You know I'm what's mad though? I, listen, I, I big you up for that chest. I big you up. I big you up for that chest. You know why? It's 2016 was the last time you beat us in the league. Chess hadn't started and puberty relax, at that relax, point, relax, bruv. Relax. You know what I'm saying? That's what's crazy about it. Man <laughs> hadn't started puberty. The last time they just did it. Put that down immediately, innit? I was a big guy. But, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a big guy. You didn't sound too sad. I was a big guy, man. But yeah, man, I'm just blessed to see the win. But yeah, on the managers, yeah, they're knackered. Poch and Ten Hag, yeah, they're, they're lost. They'll both not be here next season. I'm not sure who we're going to get, though. I'll be real, because Amarin doesn't look like he's going to Liverpool. And I'm looking at the market with my head scratching. I'm like, bro, it's a long way. Bring back lamps. Bring back lamps. Yeah, hey, listen, listen, hey, but Terry, hey, Terry, hey, Terry. Hey, this is this is this is what I'm saying though, because people today, like, especially rivals, yeah, they'll come on here and they'll they'll want us to just crash it on Kaiseido and speak about it. You see, I told you, it's not that good. It's not that good. But can you honestly look at today and say Deserby, for example, would have us playing like this? Because no, I no, I'm not having. No, 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 David, David, don't have this me, bro, David, no, David, no, David, I'm David, not David, this. David, no, 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 I, am, not I, I, I will finish. This, I will finish. I'm I will finish. Not I'm not I will finish. This. David, no, David, no, 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 we no, have. No, see, hold on, David, 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 David. Let me finish my point. You can come in. Let me finish my point. You can come in. Yeah, Terry can vouch. You're, you're, you are here. Here and there, you know what I'm saying. You decide you de- when you decide to wake up and, and come on the terrace. You come on. You know what I'm saying. You're here, here and there. I'm here a lot. I'm here a lot, and I go to games as well. And I've been saying the same thing about how we play. It is ping pong football, right? It's not just today where we play ping pong football. It's every single week, bro. Every single week. Do you know what I'm saying? And you're still playing into Man United's hands. Come on, bro. You can't just be, look- be looking at the players. You got to look at the manager as well. You got no, to no, look at the manager. No, bro. No, again, again, is he without fault today? No. He made mistakes. I can everyone can see that. But the only reason the man were even in the game in the first place was because our players are stupid. That is the I only agree. reason. I, I agree. Literally, I when when it was in the 93rd minute, I was preparing myself to come on today and sit here and wait for all of you, man, to go like that is on potch. Because I was because I had receipts, I had them written down. And then <laughs> Cole Palmer just that's my guy, you know. The, the way I shouted in, in, I love in my I house. Love it. Bro, man, I'm getting roasted. Yeah, on Cole Palmer, yeah, David. Yeah, David, David on Cole Palmer, yeah. I wouldn't say to the, the football terrorist community. I love the community, innit? You get me? But this Saka Palmer debate needs to end very immediately. <laughs> because I've had enough here of people not using their eyes and using their stupid stats on their Roscoe <laughs> phones. And, hey, but apparently Saka has 18 goals this season. Shut up, man. Use your eyes. The guy performs. Yes, he scores penalties. But what do you want me to miss him? As we said in the yeah. interview. So my thing is, the debate ends today. Foden's on top, Palmer's second, Saka can learn Master Tells from third, isn't it? I but Ches, but Ches, I, but, 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 I, I said this from early, though. I said it. I said to, I, I said, I've said it, I've said it already. When I said to, when I said to Terry before, even Palmer, before, before Palmer was in the picture, I said Saka's overrated. I said Saka, Palmer, not Palmer. Saka, Terry looked at me like I slapped him. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, the, that's, the, sort of, that's the sort of reaction you get anytime you speak about him because they put him on this platform that he's not on. I'm sorry. I said this from early that Palmer's a better footballer than him. They told me, no, nah, no, nah, you ain't seen much of him. Saka's been doing this for so long. And this, this, that, and sample size. I said, bro, Two just use your, eyes. use your eyes. He's already beaten his best um, GNA tally for the season. Yeah, he's beaten his best GNA tally. Can't use stats, though, because Chesha says stats are stupid. No, I never said that. I said, use your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try that. Greasy, greasy, greasy. Can I ask you a question? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I ask you a question about Palmer? Hold on, hold on. Let me land my point. Let me land my point, yeah? 
He's beat. He's beating his best GNA of the season, and there's still more games to go. And he's played less games than him, by the way. Right? He's gonna. He's gonna beat that record. He's gonna beat that record, and he's only gonna get better. And look at the team that he's playing with right now, because it's Arsenal fans love to use that. Oh, look at the team that Saka was playing with. You know what I'm saying? Look at the team that Palmer's playing with, bro. We're a one man team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to say this right. That, that's that's my point. Kid. I wanted to make. Yeah. So can I just make that one point? Yeah. So yeah this go ahead. Say. Do, do you think that he, he's he's looking so good because the rest of the team are so bad at the moment? No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm not saying he's playing because he he's clearly playing well. His goals, his assists, you can see what he does, his energy and everything. But what I'm saying is, when you've got so many other players playing so bad around you, one shines a lot brighter than the rest. Yeah, but if, like, if you go back, if you go back to what I said in the summer when we signed him, I was being called deluded. I said this is a right. polished guy for his for his age. Yeah, I was getting cooked yeah. in the chat. I oh, just had another young I player. Your, 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 your point, though, Don, Don, your points, your points on Cole Palmer, I think, are absolutely true. But I still don't think that Saka's overrated. I still think he's a top class player. I think what we're yeah, doing in this circumstance is we do it's a smaller version, but the same principles that the, the Messi Ronaldo debate. Messi sta stands and Ronaldo stands would try and make the other one sound crap when they were both phenomenal. All three are amazing. I have Sack um Foden on top of all of those three. I just don't think that Saka is overrated. I also think Saka is amazing. And I think Carl Palmer's amazing. Now it doesn't for me. It doesn't matter. I am honestly not bothered who's one, two, and three because yeah. I'd have all. Who, 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 who do you think's better out of the two then? Let me ask so, you. I at, so I look at so I look at it this way. You're just happy that they all play for England, isn't it? That's that's the only. They're, they're all English. This is great for me, but I think Foden's on top because of what he's done in title races, Champions League runs, etc. I would still have Saka slightly above Cole Palmer. I would say on the eye test, I agree. I think he looks better, but the reason why I have Saka slightly ahead of him is everyone knows I care about consistency and longevity and i've seen saka performing for three or four years and this is the first next season. season this is Palmer's yeah Palmer, Palmer, this is palmer's breakthrough season yeah. for me to genuinely put him above you could argue he's been better this season yes but for instance if arsenal finish above city this season does it make arsenal a better team overall than man city based on the last three four five years no it doesn't same with players so he has to do it for a few years for me but i'm putting them all in a very very high bracket I'm not trying to play any of them down. I'm not slagging any of them off. I'm saying they are all top right, quality. Well, and to me, that's what's important here. I get as rival. You want, you want to throw, you throw some shade in there? But no, no. what I don't like about everyone in this argument, too many City fans, Arsenal fans, and Chelsea fans do this. You try and make one or at least or the other two sound shit. And I don't yeah. like that because I think what oh, it yeah, does, I, I think what it does, it actually belittles your own opinion because it's almost like, I'm not saying any of you on this show, but it's almost like, well, I can't take you seriously now if you say sack of shit. I don't, your whole opinion for me is, is not in void. Because okay, I'm not talking about this year. What I mean by this year, what I mean by this year, one second, one second, one second, yeah. What I mean by this season is, I'm good. saying, the debate isn't like a closed debate. Because when I bring up Palmer and Saka, a lot of Arsenal fans, rival fans, look at me sideways like I'm a donut talking gibberish. And they're looking at me like I can't compare them this season. No, I'm not going to say he's that clear of him forever and he's the better player in terms of what we've seen in the past. He's his first season. That's delusional, right? But I think Saka gets overrated a lot because of where Arsenal are in the league. The opposite of what Phil's saying. Because he's saying Palmer stands out because Chelsea are 10th. But Morgan Gibbs-White stands out, not in the forest, but he's not putting the same numbers Palmer does. So there's a, there's a, different, there's a difference in being a standout no, player. I, 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 do, I do agree with that. I, I do think that... Okay. Uh, a player performing in a team at the top and in title race. We all know, because all our clubs have been there, doing it in title races, as an example, there's much more pressure in that. So Terry, we can't, yeah, we can't suddenly... Yeah. yeah, so I, th I think I think the combination, and I just, just agree, the only thing I disagree with you on, Don, because I want to go to Rhino in a second, is mm -hmm. Saka's not good. He's at, very, at the very least, he's very good. Because he's for me, good. good is average. In life, good is average, and he's there's no way Saka's average. average. Terry, Terry, do you know why I say he's overrated, bro? Because, listen, yeah... I watch, I watch these lot week in, week out, the same way they, they watch their team, right? And this guy can have a stinker and he'll get a goal and an assist and he'll start shouting his name bare loud like he's done like he's done a madness throughout the game, right? And they've done that once too often. Do you get it? And the other day you had Matt saying, oh, Salah, another performance where he stunk out the place, but then he gets a, gets a goal and he gets an assist. And I'm thinking, bro, okay. this is I legit. You. legit what we say. On, top would be... on top of that, they call him world-class. And we've said a mo multiple times, this guy is okay. not world-class. That is so overrated, bro. So I understand you can say he's overrated, but you saying he's good makes no sense then why you're comparing a player who you think is amazing in Cole Palmer to a good player. Why are you not comparing Cole Palmer to very good and world-class players? No, why but are you that's, picking a good player? Yeah, that's why it's been easy for me to say Palmer's been better, for him, better than him from day one. 
because I don't put Saka on this platform that you guys put him on. I just think he's a good player. That's it. I don't think he's okay. very good. I think he's a good player. That's Fair it. Dude. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> good. That's ridiculous, bro. I'm sorry. I think he's, I think he's definitely better. I think he's. I think he's definitely better than good. I think good's a good's a, good's a crazy thing. But Don's is he better than Mudrick though? Is he better than Mudrick though, Terry? Is he better than Mudrick? Let me ask you that question, Don. If you have a chance, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very good player. player. He's a very good player. I'll respect him. He's a very good player. He's a very good player. Rhino, obviously we're talking a bit a bit of Saka and, and Palmer here. Yeah, let me um, let me talk about this Saka yeah, thing quickly. Yeah, quickly, on, I, I don't even want to talk about United, but we're gonna get there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, um, with the Saka thing, I just feel like I hear where everyone's coming from. To be honest, but I just feel like we're knocking the man while he's down, man. If we look at all the years Saka's played well for Arsenal, and even when he played for England last season as well, like certain Saka was doing his thing, man. So I think Palmer's obviously better on the eye. We definitely have a lot more to see from him. Because next season, what? If Palmer has a stinky season, then what? All these conversations is in the wind. You know what I'm saying? So I think right now, Saka's having bad form. Palmer do does look better in the eye. But it's too early, man. We don't know. We have to see it for a longer time. But listen, anyway, what was that, guy? Do you think, Reno, do you think, do you think Manu's your best midfielder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then yeah, do. He's, he's barely played that many games, though. The but I'm not gonna. But I'm not. But you're not gonna hear me say, "Oh, he's better than this player. He's better than that player." That's the way. That's no. But you literally, you literally just said Manu's your best midfielder. You've only seen him. Yeah, he's performing. Before. He's performing our best right now. He's our best yeah. midfielder at this current time. But I'm not gonna now say he's better than Casemiro. Do you, do you get? Do you see the difference? No, yeah, I can right, say he's performing. Right, right, I can say he's performing better. He's, better he's, I can say he's performing better than Casemiro. But I can't tell him. I can't say he's a better player than Casemiro right now. I can't say that. But he is. He's better than Bruno. Performing. He's better than Casemiro. Performing. Better than performing. There's right, a different, it's two nah, different contexts. Don, Don, I two think you're doing contexts. this thing, like I said earlier, you're judging football yeah. like a talent contest or a, or a ballet yeah, competition. Yeah. Don's on a wind-up. <laughs> Don's on a wind-up tonight, bro. He's on a wind-up. He's on a wind-up. I'm pulling your leg. I'm pulling your leg. I'm not talented. No, no, mainly. Yeah, I don't fold, man. But yeah. For me, he's your best midfielder, really. He's your best Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. But he's still, the jury's still out for him in a sense where we still need to see it consistently. Do you know what I mean? Over the years. But yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. anyway, let me just talk about this club. Let's just get out of the way. I'm so pissed. Looking at David, <laughs> looking at Don, looking at Chez, looking at your faces, looking at... And it's annoying me. Like, the smiles, the... the, 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 the you know that jolly feeling you like, have? I hate it. It's pissing me off, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. bro, like... We and had Terry, it's fun. You, we yeah, you haven't had it in a row, so you take that, man. Obviously, I'm going to be shameless and say we're still on top, but, bro, you guys are only three points behind, so... I, I can say this now. And it could, yeah, and the game in hand as well. I wanted to be shameless with that, but I was checking the table and I thought... No, five, 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 five points. Oh, it's five right. points. But yeah, because if you win your game in hand, then yeah, you could be We already shoot we've lost against yeah. Liverpool, so... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. But absolute United battle United. of the mid-offs, man. Absolute terrible, absolute <laughs> shit show, man. This These both clubs are terrible. And I, for me, this game was just bragging rights, you know? Yes, we beat you guys. Because one of my producers that I manage is a Chelsea fan as well. And then my artist is a Chelsea fan. So it's just annoying. Like, you know, yesterday I was in the studio with them saying, what are you saying about tomorrow, guys? What are you saying? And then look at that. That dagger. What we did to Liverpool, Roms, you know, what we did to you guys. You we've now... <laughs> Instant karma. Instant absolute karma. And to be honest, man, at the end of the day, people, man, we have to look at the manager. Like, I've been calling about this manager for a long time now in terms of the belief in the team and the way he sets us up. Yes, there's a lot of um, blame on the players, but Ten Hag has no clue. The, the, the reporter said to him, you must be scratching your head how you lost that. I'm scratching my head how he's still in the team, how he's still managing us. I'm scratching my head. How's Ten Hag still here, bruv? Like, it's so, I'm so, like... Here's the thing, yeah. Here's the thing. So many people. I speak to you. Yeah, like, KJ, take take like, the take the stand, take the stand, yeah, KJ. I, I, Terry, swap me, swap me, swap me, because I'm just. Yeah, I speak to United <laughs> fans. I speak to rivals. And it's like, like, it's how can you be so sure Ten Hag is Ten Hag is gone? But how can you be so sure? Listen, no man with footballing eyes. You don't come with Omar Barada. You don't come from Man City with your footballing eyes. You don't get someone like Wilcox, who's also been at Man City, with your footballing eyes. You don't get Dan Ashworth. Who's, who's helped revitalize places like England, Brighton, and Newcastle with football alliance? None of those men see what's going on and think, Let it run. Yep, it's this impossible. guy, this guy is it. We just need to help him. We need to, we'll help him turn it around. That is never going to happen. You know what else is never going to happen? A new ownership sticking with 
the man they inherited. Name me yeah. three ownership groups that have stuck with the man they inherited from a football yeah. club. Please tell me three, and then I'll shut up. Until that What's happens, up? I know who's yeah. gone. He ain't going to be staying here. And so this is why I'm counting down. This is why it's a countdown. Yeah. This is why the fact yeah. that we're eighth with 48 and 12th is on 41 with Bournemouth, yeah. they could overtake us. We could yeah. be 12th for the end of the season. And I wouldn't yeah. care. And, 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 and do you know what? Like I kind of get why we didn't sack him earlier. I understand they want to do their thematic review before making the changes. But if it does end up getting really bad, you end up missing out on Europe altogether. Because I, I, I kind of I got what you were saying earlier, Phil. I'd still rather be in some form of Europe last year because I still think it's important to, as you're building and growing for your players to learn to play two games per week because uh, that's where you're be aiming. Yeah, yeah, that's where you're aiming to get back to. And it's a case of it, it could end up really bad. I mean, I'm really praying that we. I do, I do want us to win the FA Cup, and I hope that we get Chelsea in the final because at least there's a chance we'll beat them. Like the, that, and that would be. I mean, that was an FA Cup yeah, final today. What a what a final that would have been. If it's again, if either of us, well, they can't get City in the final. But if either of us, if we get City in the final, it's just a wrap on that big pitch. There's no way we're going to be able to cope with it. But we get the, the painful bit for me is, as we say, it's the it, the manager said it himself. It's not doing the right things, not keeping our shape out of possession. The holes in the midfield are crazy, and then decisions that he made. We went three two up. We had Rashford now with pace on the pitch. And we stopped trying to attack, including the eight minutes of time added on. We stopped trying to attack yeah. for the better part of 30 minutes when you know Chelsea were open. That is an, an absolutely catastrophic decision for a manager to make. And I get people are going to defend him. And I get the age old. Yeah, but Terry was sack managers before. Why would this be different? Are they not reading what we're doing behind the scenes? Of course, it's different now. Like, we literally have football decision makers, and it, yeah, it's crazy that people are question, defending him still. Question for the United fans obviously, I didn't watch the game start to finish, obviously, because of the Liverpool game. But you know, when you went three to up, there was a spell where it was very open. Don't you think Rashford should have come on a bit earlier, especially his record at the bridge? Obviously, he has that eye for goal, he, he, he is a goal scorer in a sense. Do you reckon he should have come on a bit no, earlier? Rashford, Rashford, well, Rashford came on just a minute before we went three to up, but I oh, do it was think. A minute before yeah, 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 I think he should. Have, I, still think he, I still think he should have come on a little bit earlier. Ironically, I thought that although Rasmus was having a quiet game, I was still frustrated that we didn't create anything for him again. It was just one of those weird nights yeah. where you think of I all just, those. But yeah, I, 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 I was surprised tell. from when Rasha came on. We scored a minute later, and then we stopped attacking. So it's almost a yeah. case of we were better off being a midfielder on. But there was a spell where it was literally end to end, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it would have suited Rashford. It was tailor made yeah. for Rashford. It was literally yeah. end to end. Yeah. And I reckon one, of his, one of Ten Hag's downfalls is he doesn't. People complain he doesn't like to sub off Rashford. That man don't want to sub off Bruno. Like mm -hmm. that Bruno Sad. Fernandez today. It, it, it's little things. It's it's the little things where we had a we had it in the corner. We got a corner. He got given the ball. He tries a this this lazy through ball to Manu and he just passes yeah. it to the to the Chelsea player. Yeah. There's so many times where he does these little things around the corner. Where I'm like, mate, mm -hmm. you are the captain. You are the most ex should be one of the most experienced players on this pitch, and you're still making mistakes that I'll see a kid make in Sunday League. Like, and mm -hmm. when you're in a game where it's like three two up, we want to okay, we want to attack, but we can we can deal with a bit of possession. Yeah. Yeah. Why isn't Bruno you know, coming off? And why can't Mason Mount come and do that role? Do you know what, do yeah, you know no, I, 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 I totally agree. Well. agree. It's funny about that as well. If you swapped out Fernandez and put Conor Gallagher, you'd I'd say the exact same thing. We are literally para, like parallels of each other right now, and I don't know how it's so. It's so. Oh, you get the post. You have two men to draw it back to. You get the two men to draw it back to. And I, and the thing is, when Potts made his first sub, so he brought on Gilchrist and Chalaba. I'm thinking. Oh, we're finished. He's he's coming up. He's actually, Coward, he's yeah. fully but that's, up. All, that's also the frustrating bit is that you guys kind of yes, we nullified you a bit, but you it's almost like you stopped going for it as well. It was it was yeah. just petering yeah. away, like, and, and then it just and then it, it all just like fell apart. gave up. And then Madawaki was like, "Hang on a minute, it's thir there's, there's 82 seconds to go, and they've left me one on one with with the low that's on his wrong side." <laughs> And then it was a little bit fortuitous because Delo didn't even make an attempt to tackle him. Their yeah, feet just got a little bit tangled, and yeah, and and that was and that was all she wrote really. Was, and, and was, 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 what's going through what's going through a manager's mind? Who's already conceded three goals, right? 
defensively ripped open and then he decides to play defensive from a 3 2 down. He was playing for a 3 2 defeat. He was playing for a 3 2 defeat. You know how you talk about footballing gods? I knew at worst we were going to get a draw today. When Campbell Waller, who has just Campbell Waller, yes, yeah. when yes, that, David, when he yes, that, went, he did a little thing to the crowd. I said, Yeah, I thought of Terry. I swear, I thought of you, Terry. I also did yeah. saying, I don't like the, the only bro. team I don't like doing this to is Man United. I was getting all my overlays and that ready, and I try and I updated everything, and I had it all ready to press save, so it was all update. And I sat there and I went, Why have I put all the scores in? I never normally do that until the end. And then we conceded too. All these little things, the football gods yeah, hate it. They bro. love, they love, yeah, when he did that, and also. Anana did something. He caught the ball and he dropped to the floor. That oh, drop into the floor yeah, thing, yeah, the yeah. gods hate it. These are all little things. <laughs> things. Um, obviously, Liverpool won tonight, boys. A quick little roundup on, on that very, very boring game, Ram. I'm glad that we start to talk about some proper teams now. I'm tired of talking about yeah. media. We, we, we really haven't got, to be honest with you, we've got barely any time, so it's going to be really quick because I've got 35 Super Chats to do as well. Go on, bruv. Yeah, fine, 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 fine. All i got to say is, McAllister, take a bow. McAllister on form the best midfield in the Premier League. I will say it right now. 14 GA, I think 10, no, 11 GA in 14 games as a centre midfielder is crazy. And he's dictating play at the same time. Like he's been absolutely fantastic. And that goal, creme de la creme. That's what you call like Gerard in, in Olympiacos. The way he struck like it. Gerard, the, the technique, the, the side yeah, of the man. foot, outside of the foot. Oh my God. Like we've been so impressed with McAllister, but he keeps on showing up whenever we need him to. And look, I've got to say this. I said value for money is best signing of the season. He's signing of the season. I'm sorry. No, he he's takes not. That away. No, Ram, he's signing stop. of the season. I don't Ram, care about Cole Palmer. Right he can now. sit down. Ram, let Ram, McAllister Ram, get, let Ram, Ram, get Ram, that Ram, crown, Dave. Ram, Ram, you're going too far now. You're going too far. No, I'm not. No, I am no, not. I am too not far. going too Bro, far, you, my friend. Whether you have McAllister or not. I do not care. I do not care. Signing of the season. I do not care. I don't want to hear about Cole Palmer. I don't want to hear about inconsistent Cole Palmer. I want to talk about Alex McAllister. You're still in the Champions League. Boo-hoo. Oh, no, you might not be in the league title. If I don't have Cole Palmer, I'm in relegation. David, zone. David, oh, David, David. What's it, Rums? I normally, you know I'm normally on your side, David. You know I, I, I'll back you. I normally, uh, any chance to go against Ram, man takes it, innit? But you're <laughs> checking what? No man in 12th is getting exactly. the of the season over a man in first. No. Bro, bro, bro if... Yes. If they do not have, if they don't have McAllister, they're still in the Champions League. If I don't have, Palmer, if we don't I'm have McAllister, you know, we're not playing for the league. You know what I really love about this. You know what I really love about this. You know it's it's funny how all of you keep talking about these great players, and the first thing you all go to is goals and assists. But when Bruno is in his pomp. And we spoke about goals and assists. We were told that weren't important in football. Isn't it no, funny? But, but Terry, it's Terry funny. McAllister, ain't, no, no, Ram, 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 McAllister Ram. ain't a GA Ram. guy, though. That's the you know thing. No credit still doing all this. Mm. Ram, Ram, do you know who I want to give the most credit to, though, is Klopp. Because bold, big managers make bold decisions in, in key stage of the game, right? And I actually agreed with taking off Salah. One, he's just come back from injury and to rest him against United. Because I know some people, that cliche saying, your best players, leave them on because they can create something out of nothing. I'm sorry, our second string team should be good enough to be um, Sheffield. So when he made the double change of Robbo, and I think it was Elliot, Robbo won us that game, in my opinion. His, he changed the game for me. His his endeavour, he kept he, he raised the tempo for us. I think Robbo won us the game. And then the second double change of Jones and Gapo, I think Klopp needs a lot of credit to because I think the subs won us the game. Because let's be honest, I wouldn't say the game was boring from start to finish, but that first half, we weren't really pre penetrating them. We weren't really creating clear-cut chances. Salah shooting from distance. We weren't really creating much. It was just possession-based. We weren't really doing much with the ball. But second half, I think the change from Klopp, he needs a lot of credit. And Nunes' goal... I think that epitomizes him as a player because if you gamble, if you if, if you um if you gamble, if you're tenacious, he, that goal is always coming for him. That goal is always coming for him. I, I know it's fluky. He, and, he, and, he and, makes his yeah. own luck. I hear you on that. And guys, we will be talking a lot more about Liverpool tomorrow on Straight Facts with Dom Hussam, 3 p.m. Make sure you're all there. I need to go through these super chats because I, I don't want to disrespect the viewers. Nathaniel here says embarrassing. We're reacting like this when that goal. Put Chelsea tenth state of this club. Fans would have booed if we'd have lost, but because we somehow won, 
and uh, and nothing happens. Bunch of flip flops. These fans is what Nathaniel shut says. Up, you miserable bastard. Thanks for the super chat, but shut up. We won. Move on. Move on. <laughs> Cheers, Nathaniel. Uh, old man Terry, you're mad, but you're right. I was mad earlier. I couldn't speak for the first minute of the show. Oh, what did Ronaldo say on Twitter? Because everyone. Oh, he just he just tweeted a picture of him looking at a phone, smiling, and saying happy days. Oh. Yeah, but literally at uh, full time, straight at yeah. full time. So yeah, uh, but remember when <laughs> Jose got caps and Pogba did the the thing? It's very similar. Uh, switched over at half time and saw McAllister with a bang. It was a great goal from McAllister. By the way, Anita left the stand before the penalty. She didn't sit. She I think she's in the bar. She said, but she weren't in the. Oh, imagine walking out. Uh, Caicedo is actually worth one pound. But I will say this. I, I know Don's gone now. I, I, I'm going to see Don at a studio tomorrow. Caicedo tonight, I know the managers had a lot. He, him and Enzo were poor. Let's just have that right. They were legitimately poor. If I had, in, if we had time, in and out of possession, they were both awful. If we had time today, I was going to go in on those two. Those two are dreadful. We'll save that. Uh, Don wouldn't have shown face if they would have... Uh, yeah, he would have shown face if they'd have lost. He would have done. In fairness, Don hasn't really given it the big one. I thought he was going to... Give it a lot more than oh, that, to be same, fair. Same, I'm same. Found same. Found yeah. same. I love it. Um, I'm completely uh, Tintin. I'm completely Tintin out. Can't take it anymore. Tintin, you know. Uh, Roms, we are top. No negativity, please. <laughs> What's that negative panel? What's that negative? <laughs> have, you, have you guys seen that clip of Goldbridge and Harry said negativity earlier? <laughs> I want some no context fan like AFTV TV, and it's, it's obviously like, a, like we've all made slips. They just go, <laughs> go and it will listen now. I'm in the super chat. I want to see you all laugh. Um, you United fans slaughtered and called us bottle jobs after Tuesday's 1 1 draw at West Ham. Who's laughing now? But you're better than us. Um, and we are bottle jobs, and we're like us being bottle jobs doesn't take away you bottling something. Like that's not how it works, bruv. It's it's we know how bad we are, but just because our team's bad doesn't mean we can't speak on other teams. Uh, please, what did Staffy tweet before deleting? Bath? I didn't know what he's deleted, but he he got he was getting shameless and the football gods. That's what they, they're all the shameless stuff we've mentioned. I did some stuff. We ruined it for ourselves. Chelsea are about to lose. Potts gave it to us, and the football gods went nah. Spell on you. Uh, for years, United got soft penalties. Karma hurts. Thank you, Tom. Uh, I'm here for my homie Staffy, Staffy's rant. Uh, go like and subscribe to his channel. Big up United fan uh, Cole Palmer, a.k.a. Cole. Yeah, he's a United fan as well. He's got a hat trick against us. Both managers are horrible. Just hope and pray. I agree. <laughs> one quick thing. You see them beefing on the sideline. I guarantee you one of them said you get sacked in the morning. That's what I <laughs> <what it's> <laughs> they're, they're beefing because they're both going to be fighting for the same jobs when they get sacked in the summer. That's what it's going to be. Uh, I thought uh, I was watching The Simpsons with uh, Psycho Cuckoo, Coco uh, yeah. and the other uh, joke characters, Maguire, Dole. Yeah, it was awful. Both teams okay. move in like who? Money Long's Rhythm. Um, oh, oh, it's, it's a song, Terry. You're too old to know that. Old. Okay, there we go. I, do you know what it is when I see names I don't recognise? I'm scared to sound out loud in case I get caught slacking. Do you, lacking, do you know what I mean? Uh, Dazasi really thought he was Desai. Yeah, I mean, his name being Dazasi is so apt, really, because he is a disaster. Yeah, but Terry, um, he gave away the ball, tackled, and then celebrated when it was the end I know. I know. I know. Uh, sack Ten Hag now if you want to win the cup. Uh, big up to Staffy for not deleting your tweets. <laughs> he deleted it. No, he did it. Uh, do you know what I do? So I, sometimes I tweet things and when I get cooked for it, I like to delete them because then it shows me who's obsessed with me because who took who like who knows it's been deleted because it lets me know who I need to block and get out. Anyone who's that much of a psycho where they screenshot your tweets, you have to block people like that because that is weird level behavior. Oh, I married. I married my psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, you know, this is being recorded, KJ. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. live in front. You know, seventy-eight thousand people have watched it. Uh, stoppable force meets movable object. No tactics, discipline, or positional awareness. Information, just vibes and chaos. Game of the season, ain't it? It's crazy. Uh, need Palmer to fluke a golden boot with twelve penalties. Tiny revenge. Um, revenge for Didier missing out on all those years not taking pens. We will be there. He didn't take pens because he weren't good enough to take pens. That's not a flex, bruv. Uh, on hindsight, do you think if Garnacho was still playing, we would have helped better in? 
listen, I'm not mad that he did it because he probably thought we'll see it through. And we give him a li- in fairness, he only got 10 minutes rest. That's not really going to help him before Sunday. He should have kept him on. I'm bullshitting. He should have kept him on. Uh, if United play like this against Arsenal or Liverpool, it's going to be a long day. Yeah, but we wouldn't be that open against them. We just yeah. wouldn't. We're just not going to do that, um, in, in my opinion, Emmanuel. But you're right. Well, Dan, uh, Don uh, will talk will talk up these mediocre players. <laughs> that there? Yeah, that there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Palmer is just a spicy Smith Rowe who takes okay. pens. No, it's, Palmer's Don't getting it. One of the biggest controversies surrounding uh, Cole Palmer is I think we need to have a DNA test done because I think Lee Gunner's his dad. <laughs> they look alike, you know. Um, the other the other problem is uh, if Ten Hag goes, you've got Southgate next. Who's worse? Where's Listen, this foolishness about Southgate. Come it ain't going to be Southgate. I'm telling you. Lee Lin uh, says uh, Foden and Palmer are class, but you can't use eye tests on attacking transition teams and underrated defensive contribution uh, on a team like Arsenal. It's not clear. I just don't think you can judge footballers purely on, purely on the eye test. You have to judge them on the efficiency they are as football. They're football players. They're doing their job efficiently. It's not about. It's not ballet. It, it plays a part, of course, but that's aesthetics. Uh, do teams play Palmer the way they play against Saka? Never seen Palmer get triple teamed. But this is why I think it takes a couple of years before you say better, because also he's very fresh still, and maybe over the summer, the coaches and tacticians will start to study him and go, well, this is what he's good at and poor at. And they start to formulate a plan for the individual. And you go through these peaks and troughs. Great point. Yeah. Why is Saka's name in Don's mouth so much? Uh, you love him. By the way, Saka hasn't played this whole midweek and he's come up on every single match reaction show by an opposing fan base. But he's not very good. But he's not very good. <laughs> I'll get done for supporting Arsenal again now. Uh, Ars- uh, Arsenal didn't play today and still getting bashed on. You guys always need to find a way. And today it's Saka, Crimea River. Uh, Landon here says Saka has been England's player of the year twice. This is true. So has uh, Mason Mount. So has Mason Mount, by the way, twice. But so he was good back in He was good back yeah. then. Check Man-, yeah. Man United player. Man United player getting that awards. Love it. Uh, <laughs> Chelsea fans, Man United player setting up a Champions League final goal. Love it. Uh, and also Chelsea fans. Story. Arsenal have got a player that scored a champ- winning Champions League goal. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, Chelsea <laughs> fans waffling about Saka yet again. It'll be funny if he slaps a hat trick in at the yeah. That's the footballing goal. Imagine he does that on De- Don's head top. That'd be hilarious. Uh, Don you say that's says, just Don. It's not me or David saying about Saka. Yeah, that's exactly. Don. I want all that direct Don. Don. Don and Chez uh, talking gibberish. You say Saka is good, but yet you compare your so-called world-class player to him. Uh, Ten Hag is going to be here next season, is what Oral Campbell believes. I'm not sure oh, about that yeah. one. I'm not too sure about that one, yeah. Chief. No. <laughs> Newcastle. Uh, neither fan base should be happy. Both teams are awful. Chelsea is in the worst state in 40 years, and people still say it's a process. Hashtag trust the process. Thank you, Nathaniel, bro. Long time no see. Saka chat in 10 minutes uh, on the Chelsea United stream levels. Uh, does ROM, uh, RAM, sorry, stand for random access memory? <laughs> I like that. Even with Ten Hag gone, Ineos need time, need patience. I agree, but we want to see better structure in the team. Uh, greetings from Bosnia. Well, greetings to you over there in Bosnia. Look, I want to thank everyone for coming on. I know it's been a long show. I actually thought if United were going to win, it's going to be a very quiet show. There'd be a little banter for Chelsea because they bottled it. But then that happened, and it went it turned into being one of our biggest ever Man United um, Chelsea match reactions. So I want to thank everyone who's tuned in. Uh, all of the panelists, you've been great. My super chat is you're amazing. Until tomorrow, we're back for the, the straight fact show. So go and bookmark it now. Go and like it and be ready for that tomorrow afternoon where we're previewing the weekend games and, of course, going to be unpacking the last couple of days as well with Staffy and Hussam. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all again soon. Peace.